this is Paula as always welcome back if you are a returning subscriber if you haven't subscribed please don't forget to subscribe before you leave just click on the red button that you see down here to be part of my family and I already know what you guys are gonna say the hair is a mess I already know I'm fully aware of that we have frizzy curls going on everywhere but hey I just wanted to sit down and record this beautiful glittery something like that a Christmas look for you guys before the holidays are over and we're going to be using the Anastasia's palette don't the modern thing don't ask me to say because don't I only know how to say Anastasia from Beverly Hills but everybody should be very familiar with this palette it is like the first palette that Anastasia put out in the market it is absolutely beautiful it is one of my favorite palettes I carry this palette wherever I go even if I travel outside of the US this is my go-to palette no matter what because you can recreate so many beautiful looks with this palette in addition to this I'm going to be using some NYX Cosmetics eyeshadow as well as some MAC eyeshadow to add a little bit of pop to this look if you want to see how I achieve this look please keep watching And it's the Navidad, let's get on. I already primed this eye. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my right eye with my MAC paint pot, like always. And then I'm gonna set it with the banana powder from the Kat Von D contour palette. So I'm gonna go with this eyeshadow right here. And I'm going to use it as my transition color. I'm going to go with this eyeshadow right here. This is the shade Love Better. And I'm going to apply it on top of that transition color to start building up the red tone that I want. This eyeshadow here that is a little bit more like a pink red but it has more of a red undertone and I'm going to, to apply it to this area over here and also bring it down to the eyelid So to tone down the pink a little bit, I'm going to go with this eyeshadow right here. And this is from the Juvia's palette, the Magic Mini. Grab a little bit on the tip of my brush and apply it on top of this eyeshadow. Now I'm going to go with this NYX Foil Eyeshadow and this is in the color Woman of Steel and this is silver shadow like this. And to apply this eyeshadow I'm going to be using this little brush from NYX as well. So I just grab some on one of the sides and I'm going to directly apply it to my eyelid. So I have never used a foil eyeshadow so let me see what this is going to look like. I'm actually really really scared because I've never used full eyeshadow but I said you know what we're gonna try it's Christmas and we want to look good and beautiful 
and shiny. So let's see what we come up with. I want to bring it up a little bit more and just blend it out so let me see if I'm able to do that I got feel like this eyeshadow is cracking I mean are you looking for some sparkle bam maybe we can blend this out or something it's looking kind of rough here So I find out that once I applied the eyeshadow using the brush like this really helped me. What pretty much I did was just kind of push the eyeshadow around until all the areas that was, were cracking um, were filled with eyeshadow. I have this MAC eyeshadow and it looks something like this and pat it on top of the um, foil eyeshadow. A bit of this eyeshadow right here. I'm gonna add it to the end. So right over here, and same thing, this area right over there. I'm gonna dip it on this eyeshadow here, just to kind of point out the edges a little bit more. I'm gonna go back with some of that MAC eyeshadow to retouch the eyelid. I'm gonna go ahead and quickly grow my eyebrows as you guys know I'm letting them grow I'm going to try to fix them just a little bit anyway what well here it is I know the eyebrows look pretty rough I am fully aware of that, but like I said, there's not much I can do with them and they are not working for me today. I want to highlight under my brow bone with this eyeshadow right here. And with the same brush that I applied the first eyeshadow with, and I'm gonna blend everything out. So as you can see, I also went ahead and finished this eye over here and I'm going to show you how to do it on this eye. So using this Morphe brush, I'm going to go into this eyeshadow right here. I'm just going to apply it to my bottom lash line. I'm use this line right here as a guide and I'm just going to follow a straight line that way. Sometimes for the uh, bottom lash line, it's better to use a smaller brush than the one that I'm using. but. This one has been working for me since I got it, so. Okay, so now I'm going with this eyeshadow here to apply all along the um, bottom lash line. With this brush, with um, no more product, I'm just gonna use what's left on the brush and I'm going to blend everything out. I'm gonna use my Anastasia waterproof gel liner to line my waterline better than sex mascara to apply mascara to my bottom lash line and to add the final step I'm going to be using my candy cane liquid lipstick from Too Faced this was a limited edition for um, last year and this is what the lipstick looks like 
and this is smells like a candy cane. I Ella quiere beber, ella quiere bailar, su novia la dejó y lo quiere olvidar. Ella se entregó y el tipo le falló y por eso se va a rumbiar. This is how this lipstick looks with this makeup look. I love this lipstick, like this is one of my favorite lipsticks. I always find myself reaching out for it, no matter what. If I do with no true smoky eye i always want to use this lipstick number one because it's such a beautiful pink and number two because it smells so good like a candy cane i hope you enjoyed this tutorial this, i just wanted to do something cranberry with glitter and i think it came out good i mean regardless of the glitter that i had going on throughout the whole video it turned out pretty good i thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something and i hope you guys have very very happy holidays with your family and your loved ones and i will see you next time bye guys